is Mind Your Mind talking to Joey of Lagway. Hi. It's probably been a fairly intense journey, even for your fans, in the last three years since the passing of, of, of Derek. Derek yeah. And uh, I'm so happy that you're okay about sharing that story yeah. because it's such an important one for the people right. that come to our site. Um, for people who are looking for answers, sometimes people who are quite hopeless. So I, I wonder if you could just start actually by, by sharing a little bit about who Derek was. Pretty complex guy. He didn't, um, he didn't really open up much about mm -hmm. his feelings. And at the same time, he really kind of wore his heart on his sleeve. He was uh, really, really smart. And I think that you find a lot of times uh, some of the most troubled people that I've met have been the smartest people yeah. that I've met. You know, they're yeah. complex because they're they're really intelligent, and the world is is a tough place. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and for some, it's just it's too much to bear. It's it's almost like they just too full of the questions that you know everybody has. But you know, it's like maybe. It, I'm not sure that it seems more simple to them or more difficult or, or both. It just seemed like he was kind of traveling through life in awe, you know, sort of amazed by people. Right, <laughs> right. And uh, at the same time, completely helpless in, in um, his social kind of skills and uh, his ability to just, you know, hang out the way other people hung out you know yeah. that dissociative kind of thing yeah. which I have as well and I totally get I often feel kind of you know just kind of out of step yeah yeah so I get that Derek uh, for those who don't know suffered from bipolar is that correct yeah, yeah that's what they say yeah I, I, I've was seen he ever that diagnosed written. do you know uh, not that I know of but uh, well, I mean yeah you know, I'm sure he was because he had it, you know, because of the court system and, and legal issues, you know, he had had to go through a lot of yeah. therapy. He had a lot of trouble uh, yeah. with the law, you know, as most people that Which is deal with unusual. drug addiction do, yeah. you know. And it, it kind of seemed like with Derek that it was just this endless cycle of, you know, getting into yeah. trouble and then out of trouble and then good times. It was just plateaus, you know. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Can I you was talk? Never able to figure that out. Yeah, you know, is it the kind of thing we hear this? Sometimes it's like it came out of nowhere. We had no idea that this is what was going to happen. No. Or it and wasn't then others like say, you know, I look back now, man, and maybe there was a few a few signs here and there. So what was your what was your uh, oh, I, experience with that? My experience, and it's often my experience with those sort of sorts of people. I I don't want to say that, but with people that. Uh, do that, you know, commit suicide, mm -hmm. uh, and certainly in Derek's case, uh, <laughs> it 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 feels like you knew that person in passing, you know, mm -hmm. like that they were in a car that was, you know, they were they were on their way to yeah. that regardless. And uh, my wife and I uh, had both known Derek, you know. Um, my wife uh, had dated Derek for a long time before mm -hmm. we ended up together and we both always just had the feeling well it's not if it's when mm -hmm. it, you know I that's a terrible thing to say but you know that, that really was kind of how it felt with him I think it was just it was always you know that was a call we always expected to yeah. get so it wasn't we weren't a surprise shocked at all came. we were just shocked in, in the sense that oh you know not today you know? yeah yeah so now time has passed, um, you look back, and what are your thoughts when you think about what happened? And, and well, I don't have any great insight to things that people like uh, myself could have done differently. There's certainly people that were in his world that I wish hadn't been, that were enablers and you know these kind of things that, that definitely uh, didn't know what we knew. and. Uh, helped him along, you know, his path to self-destruction, but he also had a lot of really great people in his life. Um, Clearly, I don't know. I wish, you're not I wish, stuck there emotionally, though, right? Because what you, it seems to me, just, you know, taking a look at some of the lyrics, and that it's, 
it's informed your work now mm -hmm. and uh, and how maybe it's changed your worldview. Uh, on so many levels, I really identified with the way Derek felt about life in, you know, in, in, the, in, in that sense, you know, and uh, I'm not a spiritual person, but it's not hard for me to understand why somebody uh, doesn't really feel the need to, you know, go on with life yeah. because yeah. it's just a th part of it all, you know, it's kind of, the, the, it's almost like, and uh, it is easy to see that that really dark view that kind of this is all sort of meaningless kind yes. of view. Yeah. And I know it's a dangerous place to go. I guess the thing is, is um, I don't know if it's genetic or what it is, but there's just uh, something that differs in different people that gives them the ability to find the rope, you yeah. know, that just yeah. gives them the ability to wake up and one day, uh, you know, see the things worth living for. Yeah. And I, I, I you know, I always felt like, I, I, I always think that every person is capable of finding that. Mm -hmm. But to help them find it, it's just, it's what would you say? sort of What would you impossible. say to someone? I mean, that's what our users are, are looking for, is some information around, what can I say to a buddy that um, might help them, even in that moment? Things I still think, may be crappy the next day, but in that moment, what, what do you think? I, I think that the recognition that there are things in your past that you have to deal with, there are demons in your past that you have to deal with, and that those things can actually, you can come to an understanding or come to a place where you can manage them, that, just that recognition is a huge thing. It's huge. And then I think just in day-to-day -day life, uh, trying to see the beauty mm -hmm. you know uh, mm -hmm. it's possible yeah it's totally possible um, it yeah and sometimes it really is it's just day to day but sometimes the best piece of advice that you can give yeah is you know just it's try like, and get through the day yeah you know you, do you ever have that kind of epiphany when you're when you're just I don't know outside and you know maybe you're near an ocean or a body of water yeah. or something and you just suddenly realize how beautiful everything yeah. is you know it's uh doesn't have to be a good day to have that revelation you know it's just it can happen or well there's i don't know it, this is like i mean <laughs> it's huge it, it, it's, it's huge so topic. huge i mean i'm i was about to say you know the roller coaster ride's not such a bad thing but then on the other hand some people are addicted to it i don't know you know i mean i but uh it's the balance Perspective. between the two. You got it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. That is exactly, I think that's probably the key. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's really difficult to talk about because, you know, of course, to a certain extent, you feel like even though you've experienced and, you know, had some sort of firsthand understanding of depression and, and uh, you know, loss, mm -hmm. uh, it, it kind of gives you no more um, credentials yeah. because everybody's different in life is... Uh, you know, it's difficult. Words to live by now in your life. What do you think? Well, um, my whole life is my daughter. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Something yeah. about, I'm not saying breed, because <laughs> believe me, it was a very tough one for me to, to even, you know, justify that. Um, there's a lot of people in the world, but, uh, it's it's an amazing power to be truly in love with something that's pure. It's it's un unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. It just gave me huge new perspective on life. So. Excellent. That's it. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Sure. Yeah. Click to three, I'm breaking music.